Dead Meme. Hello everyone, it's Dead Meme here. I'd like to cover the research system in Astroneer. Uh, by researching some of the researchable objects in the game, you receive a currency called Bytes. And you would access that system here, but in creative mode, it's all unlocked. But it operates similar, to a similar fashion. You would cycle through, find one you haven't researched, and you would just be like, boop. But in this case, it spawns in the item. So we're going to look at some of the simple research items you, you could find throughout the world. And we're going to look at crafting and some of the bigger projects. So this is the uh, blueprint, for, or not the blueprint, the material requirements. It's two compound and a resin. And of course, we'll uh, take that over to the printer. And as you can see, it's printed in the medium printer, or the one with the three inputs. So what, you, what can you research? There are items throughout the world. They're referred to as research samples. And you could also research the various items that you can uh, mine up in the world, like organic and whatnot. But you'd have to turn it on. So this item, you'll find it in wreckage most often, or sometimes inside of the containers with the uh, electrical unlock or the particular item. This you'll find on plants. This is on mineral formations underground. And snails, you'll find them throughout the uh, throughout the forests on Silva and elsewhere on the other various moons. Every planet's got a different kind. Uh, this is the larger research projects. Uh, you're unable to research them without using the, uh, the chamber. So just like the furnace, you're going to have to turn it on. It'll begin its its process of researching. Now as you can see when you hold your cursor over these, you get the option to scan if you hold down F and that will consume it and you'll get a little bit of research. So if you throw it in the machine though, this one's worth 120 as opposed to what it would normally be worth if we're lucky maybe 20 something. 48, okay not too bad. And the snail shell, I believe you can scan them. Yeah, you can. Uh, you'll need them for uh, part of a quest line to unlock the gastropods or the snails. But that's a very different video. And we'll cover that a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to go into the world, show you where you might find some of these things. And just a, a couple ways to make your bites more... What's the word? Like a renewable. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we're here with two items that you'll probably see the most of at the beginning of the game. This plant will kind of keep growing this organic research sample. And you can just come back in a little bit and research it again. So as long as you don't destroy the plant, you'll be able to come back here and research. So that one, no good. But this one, I'll be able to come back here in a little bit and some of that research will have regrown and I can research it again. So it's kind of like a little system to have renewable bytes. Okay, I found um, a research project, or at least that's what I like to call them. Uh, research items, if you hover your, hover your cursor over them, it'll tell you that it's compatible with the research chamber. That sort of deal, so you'll know you can pick him up and walk home with him. But as you can see, this is a long cruddy walk to do without a vehicle, but that again is a video for another time. Okay, a little less interesting part, and we'll cover the UI. So there's a total of 7,000 bytes in this uh, research project and it's counting down. I'm getting 228 uh, per, it looks like second. So basically if this machine's not running, you're not going to be gaining any bytes, you can like go around the world directly scan these mineral resources but uh, it just feels like um if you can trade electricity for bytes which is essentially what's happening here you're throwing a project in there and you're generating well these are generating my electricity and i'm trading that electricity for research so it's just uh, something to keep in mind if your research station isn't running you're missing out okay i just would like to kind of summarize what we talked about uh, if you look at your research menu here, you access it with the Q button and you can click on this little arm. And as you can see, this is where your research is done. You'll spend your bytes here 
Uh, again, all of my stuff is unlocked. You won't have these three buttons because it's a part of creative mode. The amount of resource you're getting, uh, 228 per second, that's how many bytes I, I actually have. You can build the research chamber in the three input crafter uh, with the two compound and a resin. And this is basically what you're looking at. You want to throw your research projects inside of here. You can turn it on and off here. And this is how many bytes that we'll... Um, that's the total bytes available. And this is the bytes per second. So other than that, I believe we've covered research. Uh, the next few crafting stations, which I'm going to cover, uh, require you to go to other planets and things. And we're going to cover that at that time, how to figure out what planets to go to for the various minerals that you cannot get on Silva. And those minerals, uh, particularly from the moon, uh, will allow us to build the next set of crafting stations. So till then, I'll talk to you guys later and everyone have a good day.